just picked up this awesome four wheel drive I mean look at this beast it has a, a rooftop tent and we're gonna drive this baby for the next two weeks in Namibia looking forward to it and it's gonna be an awesome experience the road trip has started it was very stressful we had to pick up the car which took like two hours we did some groceries we had to get some sim cards and blah blah blah, blah. and it's checkpoint embedded put the way my mobile but uh, looking forward to it we've been one hour on the road right now and you see the landscape uh, changing dramatically and already here on Antard Road we're on our way to the desert uh, to the Namib desert called Sosa Supply so looking forward to it outside in the middle of the desert and uh, we bought some um, food here in the supermarket gonna eat it right now and it's like completely be quiet here you see beautiful stars unfortunately cannot show it good morning, good morning guys from the desert we stayed here last night bought a car over here and this is how it looks like just nothing completely nothing but only nature around us and uh, this is our house so guys for the Ones who are looking for a place for a honeymoon, this is so romantic. It's like a tent and it's clean, it has the comfort of a luxury hotel. It's really amazing. So you just passed the point where you're not allowed to drive further with a normal car. You have to have a four-wheel drive, and which we have. And Farang is like extremely happy. This is why I came here. I'm it's like his desert. dream to drive like this. Just bought this beautiful orange here. Chilling in the shade. These horns are huge. It looks at us right now. Look at the ground on which we're walking on. That's how dry this is. Unbelievable. And we're heading to this dune here. We're at the top of the dune! Woo! It was not easy. No, it was very difficult. The sand is like a thousand degrees or something. I know, but. I think we burned our feet. It's, it looks so red. We just arrived here at the lodge. Unfortunately, there are no backpackers or low cost uh, hotels here, only luxurious places. So, we neg negotiate half price of this place. This is how it looks. African sunsets, ladies and gentlemen, do not disappoint at all. Look at this. It's amazing. As you can see, it's going to be a candlelight dinner today. And beauty is. There's live cooking here, there's not much you can see, just trust me, it smells very good here. You can enjoy this buffet at this restaurant. We're back here, um, again in the middle of the desert, driving our four-wheel drive, another day in the desert. We're gonna visit that flight today, Whoa. and this RV outside. We got, this is how it looks like. I'm just spacing the shit out of this. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> better be careful a bit. It's pretty amazing. Look at this. So empty, yet so stunning. We're almost there. And we keep walking till we reach that fly. Look at this. We're 
gonna climb up this dune. I think it's above 100 meters or something to see the sunset over the Namib Desert. And the sun is setting over there. Let's do this. It ain't easy going up, but the view already is just wow. It looks like a scene of a commercial or something. us. It's just crazy. I think one of the most pretty views we've ever seen. That's what we always say. <laughs> but yet again, <laughs> every view is beautiful. Being small, beautiful. We left the desert for the moon. Look how empty it is here. Like honestly, Namibia feels like you're driving on another planet. Like on Mars sometime, now it's, like, it's on the moon, another planet. Unbelievable. Good morning everyone. This is where we slept last night inside the Namib desert. And that's our car with a tent on top. We're gonna have breakfast here, make him some tea, and we have this beautiful view this morning. There's just something about lonely trees in a large field with nothing surrounding it. This is Africa, guys. So beautiful. <laughs> We left the desert for the moon. Look how empty it is here. Like honestly, Namibia feels like you're driving on another planet. Like on Mars sometime, now it's like it's on the moon or another planet. Unbelievable. Let's park our car here for a sec along the highway. And the crazy thing about this place in Namibia is you have the sea and dunes, desert dunes just alongside it. It's crazy. Dinner for tonight is fish and chips with some certified vegetables and along the sea so I think the fish will be pretty fresh. Let's find out. We're at this private dune resort. There's just a high chance to see a leopard um, in a whole I think maybe probably South Africa. We still haven't seen one, so we really hope to see one today. As you see, the private ones are immediately more luxurious up there. Look how amazing this banana tree looks like. You see bananas? And what the hell is this hanging out of it? It might be an African thing, but it looks pretty amazing. We just started our game drive. I'm sitting on top. This is how it looks here. And we're gonna hunt for leopards to all my hunting. Trying to spot them. I'm not gonna kill any animals. So. He's sleeping over there. He's still in his sleep, I think. It's beautiful. Just got out of the car. I'm gonna enjoy sunset here. For a drink. As always, impressive African sunsets. Guys, we're in the middle of nowhere. We chose a camping spot here. Camping spot here means you have the whole place for yourself. It's like, I don't know, 100 meters around us. Nobody here. We don't hear anyone. There are wild animals here, a leopard, and I hope we're going to survive this. As you see, we popped up the rooftop tent. We made a campfire. We're going to have a dinner here while knowing there's a leopard and our snakes around us. And nobody here to help us. So if you don't hear anything from us, this is our last night. Here we are sitting at the campfire. It's kind of romantic, but at the same time we're so scared of a leopard taking us in our back. That's quite difficult to enjoy the moment. We hope we can tell the story to our kids yes. someday, if we don't get to. Someday. Killed. Good morning. We survived the leopards around us and all the other wild animals. And it's still amazing being here. Like You feel like the whole place for yourself. Now we're packing and we're off to Etosha. This is view from ten, by the way. See how we sleep here. It's pretty small and cozy for two people, but the view is amazing. Waking up with this. Okay, the road has been occupied. Pretty small war talks. A little baby one behind them. We'll get on the road. Yes, that's a sign to watch out for cheetahs and leopards. But I think the chance of coming across is too small. 
just arrived in Etosha. We set up our um, sleep for tonight and we already hear elephants. So I'm walking right now to a big water hole where a lot of animals uh, gather during sunset to drink water. So from here we're gonna sit, come really close and watch these beautiful elephants. And a lot of other wild animals are gonna gather here. And we can sit here 24 seven, so even at night. We had a good sleep. We were on the water hole until the middle of the night watching rhinos fighting elephants and while sleeping in a tent we heard um, lions roaring which was pretty awesome and now we're off to another safari. These are Hitosha's wildebeest and as you can see it's far more open here compared to Kruger. It should make it easier to spot uh, animals but at the same time such far distance we need a binocular for this. Guys, look how close we are to this lion. Oh wow, look how beautiful she is. Amazing. Like five meters distance. The road has been occupied here. Not sure how you call these birds. In Dutch you say Struisvogel. It's pretty awesome because they're amazingly big. And I don't know what those are. This is where we slept last night. It's a view from a tent. What an amazing view to wake up with. And we're gonna have a breakfast right now in this beautiful surrounding. Um, it's a camping, but as you can see, it's nobody else around us. We had a campfire last night. It's just rocks around us. This beautiful environment. This is Namibia. Tuifenfontein is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in Namibia and there are rock engravings which are thousands of years old, I think over, over 6,000 years old and walking in this amazing environment with our guide to explore a bit of history. This is our guide who is showing us the way here because no way we would have found this place ourselves. You can see how harsh this environment is. These are one of the engravings. Uh, these are like thousands of years old and these were actually for education purposes to recognize footprints of animals from elephants, rhinos, lions, all kind of animals which exist here even till today. We were a bit lost, we can't find the main road anymore and it's just like desert. Sure there is a main road here. Yeah Google Maps says it is but we can't find it anyways. I don't want to be lost here seriously. There's just nothing at all. It's the middle of nowhere. Yay! Found it again! Oh yeah, well you can call a road actually, it's still like this really unpaved gravel road. With a great environment. <laughs> but I'm glad we found it. It's still beautiful. Okay, so Google Maps brought us to this shortcut and I have to go through this kind of roads. I hope we're gonna survive this and our car guns, rental car is gonna survive this. What the hell Google Maps? When camping, you have to be creative with your evening meal. We made ourselves some uh, macaroni pesto with delicious cucumbers with salt because that's the only way you have to eat it. You can eat it. And it looks delicious. So, very happy we didn't sleep in a tent last night because a big elephant just like walked 
past our house at two meters distance. It actually and woke me up in the middle of the night, and I was just like, I'm hearing something huge walking by, and I yeah. didn't know it was. Apparently, he broke some stuff here in the campaign, but we're happy. <laughs> we not get, didn't get hurt. He can see what he did. The elephant last night. He broke the porch here, in front of the reception. You can see how powerful they are. Like, probably didn't cost him any energy at all. Pretty crazy. You probably cannot see it, but you see a gray shadow there in the back on the rocks, and that's. Suspect number one, the elephant who walked and broke stuff with the campaign. He's just chilling there. You know he's guilty. We arrived at this campsite uh, in Spitzkopen. It's one of the most unique camps campsites in the world. When you look at this scenery, you just drive around and you just choose a beautiful spot along the rocks and that's all yours. It's amazing. Good morning everyone. This is a special night. Spitzkopen, as you can see, completely alone here around us and this is our last night in Namibia. So this is how we do breakfast. Um, we bowl our own tea here and we're eating cereals and some bread and just getting used to nature life. Let's go to the dance. Well for the Mayus. We said <laughs> it's funny there, our last flight for the last four months of continuous flying back home, flying from this airport, going back home. It's gonna be different first time in two years.